What is going on everyone? This video is a technical walkthrough on how to drop fields in AWS Glue in Python with PySpark. In this video, I will show you how to drop a single column in a dynamic frame of a data set, as well as how to drop multiple columns at the same time. All right, let's get started. All right, so I'm in my Jupyter Notebook here, which is leveraging interactive glue sessions. I've already went ahead to import my data. Uh, as you can see here, we have four columns. We've got an order ID, customer ID, total amount, and order date. So for this example, we're going to be dropping the total amount from our existing dynamic frame. So to do this, we're going to create a new variable called DYF underscore customer underscore DF, which stands for drop frame. And we're going to bring in the existing data frame into the next cell here. So on this dynamic frame, now we're going to use the drop underscore yields method. Now this is the method that allows us to drop one or multiple fields at the same time. So the parameter that we want to pass is going to be a list of all the column names as a string that we want to drop. So we're going to add a new list and we're going to add total underscore amount. Great. So that would work if we run it. However, I always like to add another optional parameter, which is the transformation underscore CTX. So this allows us to use bookmarking if we're enabling that feature. And I've just given it a unique name called drop underscore column. Now, before we run this, we want to make sure that it is working. So I'm just going to add that variable again and add print schema. And let's just give that a run. Great. So now we get all our columns that are being returned. And as you can see here, instead of having four columns, we have only three. So we know we've successfully dropped the total amount column from our new dynamic frame that we've created. All right. So how do we drop multiple fields at the same time? All right. So we're going to create a new variable called DYF underscore customer underscore DF underscore two. And we're now going to use that original dynamic frame that we originally created. And we're going to, again, apply the drop underscore fields method. And we're going to now pass a list of not just the total amount, but we're also going to add the order date to it to drop that column as well. So let's just go ahead and add the total amount. And now in our second string, we're going to add order date. Great. Now I'm just going to add the other optional variable, which is the transformation underscore CTX again. And now if we print our schema, so let's just go ahead and add that variable dot print underscore schema again. We give that a run. We now see we only have two fields being returned, so we know this was successful. Now, one thing I want to point out is that if you accidentally spell your field incorrectly, so let's say I call it order underscore dat, and I give that a run, it's not going to throw an error. However, if we look at our print schema, we're going to see that we still have that column there. So it's important to make sure that we're spelling our variables correctly so that they're going to drop. All right, so I hope you found this video helpful and you now know how to drop fields in AWS Glue leveraging PySpark. Thanks so much for watching. And if you learned something or liked this video, please hit that like button. Please consider subscribing if you're new to my channel for more videos on data engineering on AWS. Thanks again and see you next time.